My name's Christine Dixon. I'm another basic scientist working on the Sun Laptop of this project. I used to study drugs and how they worked in the brain, and the reason I joined this project is because I'm really excited about actually understanding the fundamentals of disease. And this project is quite special because there's a huge diversity of scientists working on it. So the reason this stuff is important is because often genetic studies find information about what's causing a disease. They say, this is the gene we think it is. But then we all look at that gene and we think, well, hang on, what does that gene actually do? And that's not an easy question to answer. And so that's why we've got such a huge number of basic scientists trying to get at these types of problems. What I'm interested in is some of the genes that actually cause dystonia, so movement disorders. And there's a whole lot of different genes that cause these disorders. We suspect that some of them might be doing similar things, and that's why they cause similar diseases, but we don't know that yet. So we spend a lot of time, well, I spend a lot of time, looking at dishes full of neurons and um, and manipulating the genes in those neurons one at a time and trying to see what changes about how the brain cell functions. In this way, we hope that eventually we'll understand enough that we can go back and tell the clinicians maybe this is going to be a good avenue to develop drugs in the future. Some of the genes that we've found, there's actually lots of different patients who have different mutations in that gene. So we're looking at one gene where there's a thousand different patients have been found to have a mutation in that same gene, but a lot of them are in different places. And that's really powerful as a scientist because all of those different mutations are telling us something different about what the gene does. So it's a huge gift that those patients have given to science because we can now get a lot closer to understanding what that gene does. So I think that's another thing that makes this project really powerful. So after a few more years, after we've been working on this project for a lot longer, we really hope to have a much better understanding of what these genes do. And we hope that we can use that to then go back to the clinic and start influencing the development of new drugs. And we really hope that that will help develop better therapies for the patients who have really given us so much. Oh.